Hey guys, I'm 25. And I'm 32 34. With episode 124 of Ranger Review, today we have the Power Rangers Dino Thunder, the Bracket Step, and the Drago Sword, aka the Dino Thruster, and the Wing Pentec from Bakuru Sentai Arbor Rangers. Alright, so now we have the Bracket Staff, Tommy's weapon, the Black Ranger. Now, mainly much this is actually a staff. Now, has a light, and has, of course, has the nice Bracket head over here. You the can mouth, move the mouth a little bit. Just a bit, not much, unlike the others, but it's still something at least. Now, to activate the sound effects, you just turn it on and off. And you hear the warning of the brachio. So this is it when he's in the sword mode. And then you press the button for the sword. That's all it does. It the sound also kind of reminds you of some of the older or the later Sentai noises because it actually has the little slashing kind of sound. Alright, so now in the staff mode, when you guys remember when in the show when he does it, he, he just has four press, special he powers. Has four. He presses it and he just makes either water, earth, fire, whatnot. To do the sound effect, you have to literally press it. So, energy oil, press it. We turn it to the, I guess, the earth. Now, this sound effect in the beginning is actually using a bracket more for when you turn the key. This sound effect tends to get reused whenever water yeah. animals are dealt with. And now the fire, the lava. Also, another funny thing about the Brachial Staff is that the beginning sound is the Gokaiju Henshin activation noise. I really like the whole chrome on the thing and the fact that you actually, you actually can turn the nozzle and activate the other special sounds that he does in the show, so it's really cool. The only thing I particularly didn't like is that the Brachio head doesn't have any lights or anything, so it's just like, you know, there. Now, it does come with, of course, the holder, so you can just put the Brachio Staff inside like this. And just clip it to your belt and you're done. It also comes with its own belt, of course. Unfortunately, as usual, it's only made for a kid, so it fits only kids only. But it comes in three pieces. This thing also comes with the belt buckle, which of course, you if you guys remember in Avalon just last time on there, the belt buckle is actually just clear. Well the main three have a silver one, um Avery Black has a black one. The final accessory is the actual combination thing for the Super Dino Bomber mode. So now we have the White Ranger's weapon, the Drago Sword. Now, mainly much is just a sword, but it's also a pen. If you guys remember in the show, he actually writes with it, like arrows, and then he flings it and shoots. The, there is license sound, so all you gotta do is just activate the sound effects on the bottom. Now, since it's a pen, it actually can also function like if you were drawing. That's why it has a special tip. So when you actually try to draw on something, it makes this weird the dinosaur nose. It just sounds like a squeaking sound effect. It just keeps repeating. Now, this is also a sword. So all you gotta do is just turn the head, flip that up. And it does a different sound effect now. It's actually really nice. The only downsides to this thing is it's so white, it yellows really, really easily. You can actually see right now that the ones that we have right now, it's about to yellow, even starting from the beginning right here, so. Another complaint I have is that it runs off the stupid button cell battery, so. Unlike the other more, other weapons for Down Thunder, it runs on buttons, and button batteries are really a pain in the butt to deal with. It comes with, of course, the holder. Now this holder is actually a bit different now because you can see it's more like a V-shaped, so when you, you can actually put the pen in like this, it holds it better because the pen is actually a curved shape instead of like a staff or a sword shape. It doesn't come with the belt at all, but you can use the belt that came with the Brachio sword, so you can interchange them as well. Of course, you also come with the belt, the belt buckle, but sadly, it doesn't do much. These things don't do much. The belt, the belt buckles are nice, but if they did more, it'll be you know 
much better. Now, size-wise, it's actually pretty decent. I actually like how the size is for even for me right now. It's pretty decent size. It's not that bad. The chrome is really nice on it, and of course, when you extend it, it actually looks even better. So now we have the ZX Blaster with the Bracket Staff, aka the Super Dino Bomber. Now in this mode, it's just a Bracket Staff added in, there's not really much nothing else. Now in this mode, it does do different sound effects. The good thing about this thing is that with the Bracket Staff, it makes it look much bigger. The only downside is there's no holder on the back because in the show, you actually see them have like a little small holder or something to actually hold it. Now, this size is actually pretty big, especially since the bracket staff is now long, is more, is now longer instead of being flipped, flipped to two pieces just like the Toronto staff is. So now we have the superior Dino Bomber, aka the Zero Explosive Super Mode. Now this time it's all five of them combined into one weapon. Now the sad part is that this wasn't used a lot in the show. It was like near the end of Dino Down There. And unfortunately, Bandai America and Bandai Japan didn't give us the attachment piece to actually combine it with all four or five weapons. So you literally have to try hold to like it yourself. hold it or that's it. Even the box of the Japanese version doesn't even show that, hey, you actually can combine with the other four weapons. I don't understand why this happened in the show. My theory is that the show added this at the last minute and Bandai had no intention of ever combining all five. Personally, I wish Japan had reissued the at least the attachment part. They've done it in the past in other Super Sentai shows. For example, in Die Ranger Ko's Power Ball that goes inside the Chi Bomber was reissued later on, so you have all six of them for the thing as well, and it also fits it too. But unfortunately, we're stuck with not having all five. That's the sad part about this because it actually looks. I would. I love the design of the Superior Dino Bomber because it's like. Head, head in the back, head here, here, here. It's like, it was really nice. It's a really nice little concept. <laughs> alteration rise from the Bracket Staff and the Draco Sword. There were pretty much some good big alterations. Now for the Brachio staff, most of the chrome was removed, unfortunately. All the chrome on the body was removed and replaced basically like how the neck is. Same goes for the head. The gray triangles are missing on the lower part of the Brachio staff neck. The Brachio staff mouth allows this lower jaw to move better. The Power Ranger logo was also added to the staff. And the only chrome kept was actually the dial rod, while this chrome was removed as well. The staff portion can actually be removed on the American version, as well as the chrome on these two parts have been changed to black, and the tip has been changed to black. The most glaring changes, of course, is two of the sound effects for the energy attacks have been removed as well. Only two exist. Another change is the holder for the brachial staff. It was changed to gray, but they also made it so that it was allowed to be closed and opened up so it actually was more flatter in the packaging. The belt included in the Japanese one is not included in the American version, and the buckle has no chrome on it at all. However, the Dino Bomber hookup is the exact same way. Now the alteration rise for the Draco Sword to the Ring Pentec. We actually included the sticker that says Mighty Power Rangers on it. The chrome was actually removed. The button on the top right here was changed to white, the nickel sticker, and we never had a beak, so you can't really do the sound when you press this. Yeah, it was just one solid thing. And the mold was tightly enlarged a little bit because it accommodates AAA batteries. The quilt core was made thicker, the triangle neck designs were thinned out, and the head fin lost the engraved black line. It still extends. We also got the buckle, but it was not chromed. Chrome. And the holster was changed to red and enlarged. <laughs> Overall, the Brachial Staff is mean, okay. It's okay, but the, le the the removing of two sound effects makes it really, really something. I horrible. wouldn't mind the chrome so much. It's just that they removed the two sound effects. I don't understand why. Even though the mold was slightly changed, it still can combine with the regular Z Rex Blaster. The main components that connect to it still work the same. So way. it's still pretty good to have both in the American version if you don't mind taking away the two sound effects. Now, for the Drago Sword, I like it myself. The only downside is. There's, you can't connect it. That's the In only either version. I, the US one could have fixed that entire issue because it was a year later, but they chose not.
not to. And of course, the size is pretty decent, even for me. I like it, it looks nice. Get both if you can, but I would suggest that the Japanese, if you like the Japanese version like this with the chrome and no power in the sticker, get the Japanese one, but it'll be a bit harder to find. The Brachio Staff, it's half and half. If you don't care about the sound effect, go for it. If you do, get the Japanese one. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for our review of the Brachio Staff and the Draco Sword. Join us next week for the Engine Since I Go Under the Engine Dai Shogun. Rate, come subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Hey guys, Zekbo25 like and Archer9234. But it was a 124 Avenger review. Today we had the Power Rangers Thunder Thunder, the Brachio Staff, and the Draco Sword from Power. Oh, you know, I messed that up. <laughs> Wrong, but double series. Yeah, I know. Personally, I don't know what happened between here and there. My theory is that when they did it in the show, there was no. Oof. Alteration wise from the Z. From, oh, stop saying Z. That's it, damn it. But yeah, that's it for a review of the Brachio Staff and the Draco Sword. Join us next week for the Engine Sensei Go Under the Engine Sen. Engine. Oh, wow, wow, okay. So, what's this called in the American version? Just the Zvex Blaster? I forgot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it has a name. I don't think it, I don't think it was named. I really don't think it was named. <laughs>